So I think every year uh, we're teaming up to try and create a Christmas video for our fans. And I think it's something that we always try and challenge ourselves to come up with something new. What we've looked to do in the past is draw on Christmas traditions and put a Team Ineos spin on things. In the past, there's been videos around Christmas music, Christmas lights, even uh, Santa's sleigh. So this year, we're taking quite literally the theme of the Christmas card. We're looking to recreate iconic scenes from the 2019 calendar, completely made with paper, working with paper sculptor Heidi Atkinson. We know we can build them, but can we animate them? We started off with one scene, and then we quickly realised that we could do a narrative with the bike travelling around um, through different scenes of the different tours. So we've got like iconic moments of the sunflower field, bunting, the finishing line at the Arc de Triomphe. Probably one of my favourite bits to build, which took time, but I just think they look really good. It was really a case of how can we make the riders look like they're riding uh, authentically. So we sent lots of footage of our riders on the, on the flat, riders on, on climbs, to make sure the guys at Doodle Do could bring it to life accurately. The bikes are made of about, I think it was about 42 separate pieces, even down to the, like, the little water bottle. That was five pieces in that little tiny water bottle alone. The process works by taking a picture of one rider, replacing him with the next rider in the sequence. Each rider has 12 different versions of himself. That gives us 60 to 80 revolutions per minute. Uh, we're building scenes in 3D software so we can figure out how big things need to be, how fast uh, things move and how many frames we're going to need for each scene. Team Ineos are all about precision so you'd expect them to have that kind of attention to detail and uh, honestly it has been a real challenge but every leaf has been cut out and placed on every tree, every uh, sunflower we've made over 400 of them. We're shooting over a thousand frames of stop frame motion just to get the pace and the attributes of the riders right. And hopefully this kind of authenticity, this kind of attention to detail will really pay off when it comes to the final thing. Traditionally, we always have a twist at the end of our Christmas videos. And this year is no difference. We find out that the entire thing is taking place in one of these. And who better to finish the video than Egan Bernal himself. So we know each season there's definitely some anticipation amongst our fans uh, about the, uh, the Christmas video and I think it's just a big thank you to our fans uh, for all the support across the season and hopefully something they can share uh, with their friends and family at Christmas. Mm -hmm.